Hello friends. Welcome once again to Rick's Garage. What you see before you is a 2015 Ford Fiesta. If you've been watching my channel, you know I'm retired these days. I only work on friends and family's cars. I call myself everyone's free mechanic. The girl that owns this car recently moved into her own apartment. She's one of these frontline workers. So she doesn't have a lot of money, so I've been trying to help her out. Um, she brought it in because both her uh, rear tires were bad. I had a couple of used tires in my tire rack that would fit this car, so I put them on for her. Uh, what I'm doing right now is changing the oil. But those uh, reasons are not what this video is about. She was complaining that the car was overheating in traffic. I let the car run. I took it for a good ride. Got it up to operating temperature, and going down the road, it was not overheating. And then I brought it in the driveway and let it idle in the driveway, and the temperature slowly started going up. And what I noticed is the electric fan was not coming on. That's the problem. So I've got the car up in the air changing the oil. You might notice I'm using my lift stands to hold the car up. So while the car is up in the air here, it gives me access to the, the electric plug of the fan. So I decided to start right there and hot wire it and see if the fan comes on. See if I can make the fan come on. If the fan won't come on, then it's probably the fan that's bad. If the fan does come on, then it's probably some sort of sensor or a fuse. This is what I'm going to try to do right now. I'm going to attempt to hot wire that fan. Okay, so we're uh, under the car and we're going to disconnect the plug that goes to the fan. So what you want to do is pull this little tab right here, and then the plug should come right down very easily, and it did. Okay, so now I'm going to plug a couple of jumper wires into the fan junction. Uh, be careful not to let them touch each other, but it's not so important right now because I don't have the other ends connected. So there's... This side is the red side, the hot side, and this side is the ground side. So we're going to plug this in here. Yes, yeah, so I got that plugged in. So now I just want to adjust them so they don't touch each other. And they seem to want to. There. Yeah, they're pretty well separated. Okay, so now let's go up top and connect them into the battery and this fan, if it's working, should come on. Okay, so I'm connecting the red wire, the positive, to the battery. And I'm just going to quickly touch the negative and that fan should cycle on and it's not doing it, it's not happening. So I'm going to connect this all the way and I'm going to get a test light and make sure that I'm getting power down there. You see I'm getting power there. Tells me that there is indeed juice going to that fan and I'm absolutely not seeing it come on. So we don't need to really look any further. We've pretty much confirmed that the problem is with this fan. So we're going to uh, go ahead and order a new fan. I'll try to get one as inexpensively as I can for the young lady. Uh, in the meantime, she could continue to drive the car the way it is. She's been driving it this way. It only overheats when she gets into traffic. I'll tell her that uh, if she's in traffic or at a red light, that's gonna be a while to shut the car off or turn on her heater. I know it would be uncomfortable, but the heater would help cool the motor. So I'm going to plug this back in and I'm going to finish the oil change. And uh, we know now that we need a new fan. So that's all I've got for right now for Rick's Garage. Uh, just testing this fan. Uh, when the new fan comes in, I'll post a video on how to replace it. For now, I want to say thanks for watching. 
Before I go, I'm going to post a couple of videos to your left. Feel free to click on them if you like. And on your right, I'm going to post a picture of my avatar in the form of my German Shepherd. Feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe. So thanks again, and we hope to see you again.